while you're at it. In my eyes, I got coming for blood. Hey, what's up? <laughs> uh, this is a root panel. Only four of 27 of us are here. Uh, Mudge of the Loft seems to think that I should uh, be the one to speak about the really elite stuff, but uh, that isn't going to happen since mostly we're here to dispel some rumors about Root. Uh, you want to go for that? Well, um, while, while the people at the Loft and the people at CDC are off promoting various operating systems, we gave that a try um, <laughs> with, uh, with our own uh, Root OS. You've probably never heard about it, and that's for a very good reason. That's because uh, it didn't get very far. Um, instead, what we at Root are doing is, uh, and this is a, sort of a, an unusual step because it's a case of the, uh, of the uh, North boys uh, overstepping the, uh, the, the South boys on a firearms issue. And I think that has mainly to do with uh, Craig moving up here and being sort of no a turn case. Oh, okay. No real names? No real names. Why not? So, uh, just introduce okay, well, yourself. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm RS, and uh, we, we've come to the conclusion over the course of this show, unfortunately, we don't have one because New York City laws to show you, but we've come to the conclusion over the uh, course of this law that we are going to go ahead and endorse the SIG 229 as the official root handgun. And um, that was, that's really all that I, <laughs> that I have to say. Uh, this is Entropy, and he's asleep. Uh, this is Loki, and I'm Husaka. Basically, uh, what Emmanuel wanted, gave me the opportunity to dispel some rumors about Root. Uh, Root is about three to four years old. It originally started as a joke. Um, what do you mean originally started as? Uh, you mean it's, it, is it's, it's still it's, a joke? It's, it still should be a joke. I mean, granted, now we're 27 members strong, spread out across the country, but, um, and collectively, we are technically, you know, brilliant. Uh, we own everybody, but uh, we need to dispel some rumors because we found that some federal agencies have been, uh, they're taking it seriously. Um, when I told Hosaka this, uh, I saw Coca-Cola come squirting out of his nose. It was really funny. Um, we were at DEF CON when I heard that some federal agencies were taking us seriously. Uh, we need to dispel those rumors because we don't do anything malicious. Um, I need this opportunity to tell everyone that. We don't do anything illegal. No, we don't do well, anything, period. period. Yeah, illegal, period. I mean, no, we don't do anything, period. period. <laughs> um, but I mean, spread across the country, I'm sure that people can... Uh, I understand why some people may think that we are malicious or evil or, or the bad hacker element, so to speak. But I mean, we try to do as much good as possible. Our membership includes uh, the editors of Frack magazine. Um, I mean, it, it is pretty widespread. It's, this was mostly to spell those rumors because we don't want to be arrested by the feds. It's just uh, not a good thing. Um, it's not just that we don't do anything with that. I mean, we, we have a lot of products in in the works, which is like the law space, but we're going to have a New York space. Uh, I don't know if anyone's been to Not Work, which is Hope's, or 2600's little loft in the city, but uh, the root space will eventually have enough servers so that anybody can timeshare on them. You just come in and say, hey, I need to run a project, but I don't have the server, wh server to run it on. You can come in and just do it off of our servers and okay. do it that way. Yeah. Our full repository is will hold everything. Oh. That was the future plan. Um, our website is up, it ha always has been up, it's just that we had some difficulties with the internet as of late, but uh, you'll find that the archive is actually much bigger than some of the archives you find on the net. Um, we, I have almost a gig of this stuff now. So we have it's all not on my server. It's, it's going to be. Oh, I'll, I'll, give you the, I'll give you the penny and pro All right, real it. soon now, we're going to have one of the biggest archives on the net of all sorts of stuff. Essentially, just anything you can think of. Granted, we're mostly like Unix schmucks, but uh, we do roll into the NT once in a while. I mean, that's pretty much his lost little gig. Why don't you talk about this? What am I going to talk about? Sure, there is. Say what you wanted to say before the end. Just say it. What? Just say what you wanted to say. Yeah, just the joke and stuff. Huh? The jokes and the other stuff. Just say it. Um, really talk. Tell both of you to talk. We just needed really the opportunity to dispel some because you have no idea what it's like to be kind of freaked out and uh, have the potential to be raided by a Fed one day. 
Um, <laughs> well, actually, we, we would be happy to take, I mean, you it, take questions from people. It's, it's if good anybody to, has a rumor, yeah. has heard a rumor about it's, us, it's good to like have like to one or two people, one or two people sort of interested in you. But to be 27 people spread across the country, uh, working for some of the biggest network service providers, programming houses, and engineering companies, um, if you were fed, wouldn't you start thinking, "Hey, that's a little bit like organized crime." Um, well, the, the rumor that I heard that I found particularly worrisome is that we're at, we actually do anything at all. Right. I mean, there are people going out around there hacking sites and sticking our names on the end of them and signing them saying that we did them. Uh, who was one of the Bay Networks? Bay, yeah. yeah, Bay got hacked. Yeah, the Bay, the, Bay, the Bay site got hacked, and on the bottom of it were crediting Root. And we had nothing to do with that. I mean, there are sites all across the net being hacked and being signed with our logos and stuff that we just have nothing to do with. And we're good. We're taking the heat for it. And we're just too old to be doing shit like that. I mean, <laughs> quite honestly, we make too much money. We just age alone. We're too lame to be doing. Exactly. Things like we just that. we're just too. I mean, we'd love to tell you and sit here and tell you how to <laughs> take down networks and stuff. But I mean, that sort of stuff isn't even announced. Most people don't even know about it. Only about four or five engineers across the net can know how to take down the net. And Granted, we're not about to spill those kind of secrets onto the net. Granted, stuff like Lovecraft coming out of the loft is brilliant. I mean, Weld and Mudge are great guys, but they're a lot more organized than we are. Uh, we just don't want anyone to think that we're as organized as that. We're uh, not organized. We're not organized. Uh, we're just a bunch of guys that love to just hang out with yeah. each other and we just get along. That, that's, I guess, the main thrust of the, yeah, of that's the discussion. Yeah, the main thrust. That we, we, we aren't, we aren't one-tenth as organized as you'd have to be to do all the stuff that's attributed to us. I mean, you, it's, it's, I mean, I see a lot of, like, kids coming up these days and making their own little groups. I mean, I get mail every week saying, hey, you guys are the LOD or the MOD of the 90s. And I see Goggins on the weekend. He's like, you got to be a crack. Why do you want to be associated with anything like that? And he's absolutely right. We don't want to be, like, investigated. Um, it's, it's just an environment where it needs to be split up. And I also kind of want to smash on some script kiddies, but <laughs> I won't do that today. <laughs> I want to just call the boomers. So, uh, we really don't anticipate there to be any questions, but we'd like to open the floor up to questions, just the same. Just one, one more thing, I mean... Um, and anybody who wants to come up here and give answers for us is more than welcome to as well. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I know some, going back to what some of the kids start in groups these days, I just want you guys to be careful. Um, it's, it's, it's one thing to start a group of four to five kids in, in a local area, but I mean, once you start gathering attention, it doesn't become that fun anymore. It's a lot of responsibility. Um, fan mail is fan mail. That we, I mean, I receive maybe 20 pieces of fan mail a week. And that's not a lot, considering Route, who is also a member of Root and also the head editor of Frack Magazine, gets something on the average of like 50 to 100 pieces of fan mail. Um, he's a media whore. He is our media whore. Uh, but I mean, a lot of the Frack contribution, all the other magazine contribution, and the ties that we have to almost every other group, like the Guild or uh, Loft or CDC or any of those groups, it's just a bunch of guys having fun. That's all it is. And once you guys start taking a little bit too seriously, you're going to find yourself in a whole world of trouble that you just do not want to be a part of. I would say that given the amount of stuff that we have done outside of uh, sitting around and grousing about the internet, it's amazing that you get any fan mail. That's how I get it. Yeah. I mean, it's just uh, it's, it's really weird. You should be aware of it. Um, so we, we had a question from the front row here. I'm, I, I'm actually going to be really interested to see what this is. Oh, no. Here, I'll turn one around for you. Sounds good. Okay. Could you clarify about your statement that, uh, that you said before that we own you? What, what do you own, and specifically, and how do you own it? Okay, three well, years the, ago. The, we uh, the, the root mantra is that we only look stupid because we choose to act stupid. P.S. We own you. And there, there is sort of a, a zen to that, just as um, there's sort of a zen to the church of the subgeniuses. Uh, um, what, 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 what the right owning is a way of life. I mean, it's owning is believing. Um, historically, owning is... Uh, the pride of ownership. Exactly. Pretty much uh, being able to break into a machine and owning it. The root. <laughs> or, uh, you know, getting the enable passwords on core router or something. But I mean... Out, owning has changed from, from our perspective. It's now part of eliteness. I mean, you'd be surprised how many kids just come up to us at cons and just don't say anything. I mean, would be so afraid to come near us because they don't want, they think we're going to like destroy them or something. We're well, totally not like that. We're just a bunch of guys that get too drunk on the cons and, you know, just have a great time. That's exactly, I mean, 
it's just really hilarious. I mean, granted, collectively, we could, if we wanted to, yeah, we could. Um, probably. <laughs> if, we, if we could get off of our asses. Yeah, if, it, if, if we get off our asses and actually wanted to do something, we could cause mass havoc. I mean, 27 people spread across the country working for the large, some of the largest companies, yeah, it gives us a tremendous amount of access. But at the same time, we're also like, you know, all in our mid-20s. Uh, we have decent salaries and jobs. We're not about to risk that for a federal prison term. Um, so in, in, in summary, We Own You is meant to be a, a facetious, exactly. a facetious uh, uh, a slogan that really doesn't have much to do with reality. Exactly. It's basically this, like, it's basically like everything else to do with the root. Are, are those hecklers joke. lining up at that microphone up there? Oh, there. Okay. I'm sorry, I didn't see All right. Go ahead. Um, basically, I, I, I come to this with very little knowledge. But I have three questions for you. Sure. First, what are these things you're alleged to have done? What do you say? That's the first. What is it? I mean, I've got no idea. This massive reputation, undeserved reputation that you're talking about. I, I don't, as I say, I come to this very cold. Um, second, would it even be possible for a person to make these things happen, for human beings to make these things happen? The sun rose this morning, nobody had to intervene to make that happen. And third, um, that escapes my mind. So you, if you answer the, those two questions, I, I'd appreciate knowing what these things are, especially, that you're alleged to have done, and could it, could it, could human agency be involved in these things? I'm sorry, can you speak up just a little bit? Oh, are you serious? Oh, all right, all right. Um, no, we're, we're, we're getting a newfound respect for the people who get to sit up here without a studio monitor pointing at them. Go, go what ahead. I want to know is, um, what are these things that you're alleged to have done, whether or not you've done them? Um, we don't do anything, literally. Well, you speak every so often, <laughs> that much at least. And second, it almost sounds like these are what you're talking about, and I have no idea really what these things are. That's good that to see it away. possible to, to be done. It's almost like, um, that something happens, nobody did it, let's find somebody to blame. I don't know if this is the sort of thing that you're talking about. Well, we, we uh, categorically deny any involvement with anything more illegal than jaywalking from the phones across the street over to here. Uh, the simple fact of the matter is that most of the people in route uh, don't have the time to be involved in anything illegal. But it, it's, it mostly goes to say that uh, yeah, if, if we wanted to, yeah, sure we could. But do we, we make a conscious decision not to break the law? Um, we, we find ourselves in a curious situation here yeah, wherein, I mean, wherein we, we're, we're actually, more stuff than actually really happens that ends up being attributed to us. Uh, I, I have newfound respect for the uh, Jewish bankers and the Masons, and not to mention the Bilderbergers and the Trilateralists. That, that's exactly what it sounds like you're talking about. Um, that's that's that not to say that we can, that's not to say that we deny categorically that we own the world in some sort of spiritual sense and that we're, we're actually controlling stuff behind the scenes, but we're not doing anything illegal. Oh, that's a large claim, yes. I mean, All right, let me hand this to the next person. I mean, just. just what is this a, undeserved reputation? Look, well, I, I don't know, that. deed one. That to, that you're accused that you, it said you've done, and I don't know if the word accused even applies if nothing illegal has been going on. If it's just a, just fun and games. I don't know what's being talked about. Okay. And it Basically, sounds like right now what you're trying to do is just get the heat off you that you don't have any use for. It's not that we don't have a use for it. It's just that um, we can't afford to have these illegal activities attributed to us when we're not responsible for them. I mean, granted, if we did something, most likely we'll admit to it because we have no problems with it. We won't permit anything illegal. But if we just did something to a friend's machine as, as a practical joke, I mean, yeah, it's just like a practical joke. But uh, you have to understand that you don't, you should, we shouldn't have to be attributed to something that we didn't do. Um, we've gotten to the point where our membership in the um, so-called hacker community are 
are pretty much the elites. I mean, they. It's, it's, it's true. So, I mean, Craig, I, Craig doesn't like to admit to it, but the truth of the matter is, all 27 people of Root have have always been pretty much. Uh, Don't use the E word. The, the right. <laughs> The way I see it, you guys are, are three or f are f actually four, I'm sorry, this guy's asleep here. Uh, out of a, a whole bunch of, of people who, amongst the computer technical community, you guys happen to be well respected because you have a very intensely high degree of technical skill. Very, That's exactly. Very fundamental to the core operations of internet, telecommunications, etc. So for that, you have a well-deserved respect. And there's probably a lot of people in this room and a lot of people who want to be you or have your skill. And therefore, with all the disinformation and the kind of chic uh, glorification of bad boys like Wired Magazine pumps out to the Coca-Cola, Jolt Cola consuming public or whatever, it, and movies like Hackers or whatever, it glorifies it. So there's probably a lot of wannabes who found that uh, the bug in the NT Ethernet card or whatever and got in the back door and put your logo on the site because he he, we're root, man. Uh, maybe Wired Magazine will print it. And so yeah, so right. what I'm seeing is basically is that, that there's a lot of perhaps wannabes posing, giving you guys credit because they think it's cool and you don't. And um, it's unfortunate that people are misbehaving that way and you have to take the heat. Is, is that a fair assumption? You want to come up here and speak? No, no, I'm just, no, because, you know, I, I, I personally, like, have no, a high, I agree with you. I have if, a high if amount you continue of down this track, you're likely to end up drafted as the root spokesman. Say what? You can oh, have my anyway, seat. Anyway, yeah, I'm a very good media. I mean, you're, you're media actually right. my yeah. business, but. You, you've done a better job ca uh, explaining this than we ever could. Well, thank actually. you. Yeah. We can talk thank about you. this later. But, yeah. no, but anyway, I just want to say that having never seen you guys and know what you can do behind the scenes, I just want to give you my greatest admiration because what you do makes what I do possible not having your level of skill and if you ever um, find yourselves perhaps in a position where where I could employ you I would be very happy to do so let's have a round of applause for these guys and stop these uh, bullshit uh, bullshit uh, lynchings and uh, you know if there's anything that they have to share I came here to hear what I could learn from these guys not not to sit here and and Look at them at the Nuremberg process here. Have you this been is, drinking tonight? Not at all. <laughs> no, I like this. You guy. need to start. You pretty much, you pretty much said exactly what I wanted to say. I mean, so, so uh, what I'm asking you guys now is, if, if there's anything enlightening technically that we should know, like new things or whatever, share your knowledge on that level and stop defending yourself and don't apologize for what you're great at doing. And normally, I, I really want to uh, congratulate. No, normally, we, we at the smaller cons, uh, what we've we've done is had root panels. Um, have all 27 of us, or as many of us that are at the cons, usually about half of the members, uh, get up on a panel and let the entire audience, uh, you know, pick our brains. Ask yeah, us any I, I think questions really what I'd rather hear, instead um, of you guys apologizing, man, you know, let's have like, you know, a, a, a bug festival, man. Like, you know, <laughs> why don't we do a bug fest, like for a weekend or something, and bring all you guys down, and then you can just tell what people need to do to, to fix see, that's, things. That's, so, that's kind of yeah. like defeating the purpose of why we even came here. I mean, we usually do that at the cons. And yeah, so the, the moment we start talking about bugs, or I won't even mention any in particular ones. Right, but no, you don't need to. If, yeah. if uh, the moment we do that is the moment we sort of are trying to defeat the purpose of what we're trying to say here today, that we're not responsible for this stuff. Grant, yeah, obviously we know this stuff, or we, we wouldn't be rude. Collectively, it's mostly like a, like a technical forum, so to speak. Of course. Uh, I think really, that, that this is the essence of it. Yeah. And then, again, I mean, if by, by after, like, 72 hours of this conference, people here haven't gotten the, the message that criminal hacking is exactly that. In fact, it's not even hacking. It's criminal if, if it's done such. Forget it, man. We know this already. Now let's go on and let's, like, do positive uh, well, go, things. Go, see what we taking can one step beyond that, it's, Please. in many cases, not even funny anymore. It's not uh, funny. Breaking into a website and changing the contents of it uh, was funny sort of a year and a half ago when it first happened, maybe two years ago. And it's turned into the same joke being told over and over and over again. And I wouldn't waste my time doing no, it. No, it's old. I, I would rather hear like the kind of constructive stuff that you guys are well, good at doing. If you want to break into a machine, buy it yourselves, run the OS, run the apps, and break it yourself. There's no reason to touch anybody else's machine. I say you're, um, you're wanting us to get up here and actually give you information about bugs and exploits. That would actually be counterproductive for us because. Well, no, I'm not asking you to say that. I, I'm, I'm, I'm saying, 
you know, I'm not asking you to divulge like how no, no, to, no. you know. I understand that. I'm, I, I, that would be ridiculous. I, even speaking about that would be kind of against the point we're trying to make, which is that Root is basically a bunch of guys who get together, hang out, and don't do anything. So coming up here and talking about exploits and stuff would be coming up here. I mean, we've done it in the past. Uh, it just, it just not. Hope is not a good form for it uh, because uh, what? Not. I mean, it just, I, I don't think it'd be a good time to start talking about exploits. I grant, I'm sure on one on one, yeah, we probably discuss it, but. In a form why it's it's not not the place. No, I'm I'm talking more routine stuff. You know, guys like you know how to keep a network really running. Help people uh, here have a knowledge to do that. It's not about breaking things anyway. It's about running code, right? What do you want to know? Like that, wouldn't, wouldn't you agree? I would say that in my opinion, being Come on at up your and level. See us of, after the show, and we'll uh, explain our rate schedule to you. <laughs> okay, man. Thanks a lot. I guess other Probably. people are waiting. Yeah. Hi. Uh, you guys claim that you don't do anything. Uh, you get you get a lot of credit for doing something. One of you appears to be asleep. Have any of you considered a career in law enforcement? As a matter of fact, uh, uh, that crosses my mind from time to time. But some of the, us are actually employed by the federal government. But, the uh, the, uh, the internet is actually a lot more lucrative place to make one's uh, living these days. If if they started paying $150 an hour consulting fees, I'm there. I mean, we're not kids anymore. I mean, eventually, I see a lot of young faces here. Eventually, they're going to grow up, and they're going to be paid a lot of money. I mean, we have members, I mean, our youngest members, what, how old? 18. And this kid's already making a six-figure salary. Granted, um, all Root is is like our own technical form. It is, it, most of us rely on each other for our technical expertise. We can't figure out someone else in Root can. So it's a collective. Um, you, you think that that uh, it's kind of easy for someone like us to come up here and talk about how we're not doing anything illegal. You understand, when you get into our position and when you're blamed for a lot of stuff, then you'll start taking it seriously. I take you, you're the type of person that's probably never been investigated or anything like that. Neither have I. I'm, I thank God every day that I've been investigated. But the moment people start talking about, hey, um, you better chill out, uh, people have an eye on you, uh, you start getting really paranoid. And it's a time in your life when it's not happy anymore. Um, you go to cons and you're worried about, hey, am I going to be busted for something I didn't even have anything to do with? Yeah. Am I, I, I worry about that. I worry about associating with people uh, because I don't know what they do in their free time. Yeah, you start to worry about it a lot. And uh, that's pretty much how it ends up. And I needed this forum, or we needed this forum, forum to pretty much dispel all those rumors. Because as much as how a lot of you seem to think that hacking is this evil thing, yeah, it's cool. Yeah, I could care less if it's cool or not. I do this shit for a living. But these people are eventually going to go out into the job market and find that, hey, I can't be a fuck up anymore. I actually do have to do my job. And they're going to use that technical skill to do their job very well. And when they're at that point, which is where all of us are, you do not want to have anything tell you, hey, just because you have this technical association to a group of people who are generally accepted as hackers who are just completely amazing at their technical skill, just for that association that you're going to be uh, thought of as some evil hacker because people um, who go, a lot of people who go to these cons think of, think of hackers that way, you don't want to do that. It's, it's, a, it's something that you really don't want to be uh, blamed for. And that's essentially why we want this forum to talk about it. Yeah, some people are going to come to me later and say, hey, that's really lame. You, know, you guys went up there and said, um, whatever, whatever. You want to match wits with me? Fine, go ahead. We'll match technical skill. That's, that's perfectly fine with me. But the point is, I've got a life to lead, I've got my technical skills, I'm happy with them, and I have a whole bunch of friends that we share technical and just, you know, personal relationship with. And we shouldn't have to be the fault or anything like that. Granted, I mean, if people have technical problems, we'll help them out when we have some time. But that's pretty much it. I am elite. Give me wares. Pardon? Wares. He wanted wares from us. Wares? Uh, yeah, they're in the wares house. The check is in the mail. That, that is pretty much our summation. And um, I, I think we'd like to say in summary that yeah. we only look stupid because we choose to act stupid. 
Um, P.S. Yeah. Um, well, um, I'm a newbie and I don't know from nothing. Um, That's fine. Knowing nothing is a great place to start. Okay. I've heard about... Knowing nothing gives you plausible deniability. Oh, um, I've heard... First of all, I'm Rugosa at interport.net, so maybe if you can't say it here or we can continue the conversation on email, but I've heard of Linux and I've heard of FreeBSD right. or something like that. Anyway, and other Red uh -huh. Hat and... Slackware, and I've seen some of it working. I'm running Windows 95 on my. Everyone's heard about my sound card that is, and then the that isn't playing music, and I want to do free tell and stuff. Um, would and Linux and what flavor should I try and learn or run? I'm. I've no. I think actually, I think a Unix. The, if the, you, the if short. Wanna, I'm sorry. If you want to run a free Unix on your PC. Um, all of us up here would recommend OpenBSD. Uh, Theo Duret, who also is, uh, has very, who's the author of OpenBSD and has close ties to us, by the way. Um, so what is it? What, can you speak louder? What is it? The, uh, the root opinion on Linux is that it's uh, software written by rank amateurs for rank amateurs. Okay. And it's tantamount to walking around with a sign on your back that says, hack me. Right. Linux really, I mean, just doesn't have, have any respect from us. If you want to learn a good Unix, we recommend OpenBSD. Um, only because of Theo, and also because we've used it, it's a solid operating system. Um, however, for a beginner who really doesn't have a lot of ex uh, experience, I would personally recommend FreeBSD, only because there's so much support for it. Um, also, it's extremely easy to install and get up and running. Um, is it downloadable free on some web page? I'm some, sorry? Is it downloadable free from yeah, some Yeah, uh, www.freebsd.org. FreeBSD.org? Um, a good reference for uh, technical information, just like uh, getting some tips, is um, I don't know if you're familiar with IRC. Uh huh. Okay, if you go on IRC on EFNet, uh, channel FreeBSD, it has a lot of um, FreeBSD buffs and also some of the authors hanging on that channel. So you can get a good reference information from there. Okay, thank you very much. No problem. You um, have a question? I have two questions. Sure. Number one, uh, you there, the one next to the one sleeping, um, aren't you Doug Humphrey? Um, <laughs> no, in fact, my name badge says, I am not Doug Humphrey. <laughs> yeah, and, Doug Humphrey is... And uh, we're supposed to believe that. Humphrey? Okay. And uh, the other thing is that um, if you could... Uh, if you could so, some of us even have to, to defer to people more elite than us on occasion, and in my particular case, I must defer to Doug. Stop hiding behind the column. Next question. Uh, my, my, um, this isn't a, a question so much as a, as a request. Um, could you wake Entropy up? I actually, uh, I need, I need to do him to uh, go away with me now and hand me large amounts of money. <laughs> See you later. Oh. Um, I just wanted to thank. We're, he's we're the lucky broke, one. Too. I mean, we want, I just want to thank uh, Emmanuel for uh, giving us this opportunity to pretty much clear it up. Um, I have died. I mean, all we, of us. We died, actually but... thought that the uh, the late on the last night of the uh, of the show after most people have gone home was actually sort of a fitting place for for Root to give its presentation. Yeah, it's its last word, and the only people here are the people who are too lazy to go home, um, still wanted to be here, and actually wanted to hear us talk and dispel dispel all the myths. And the third classification of people that we really wanted to be here were the Feds. They're the only ones that would have stayed around till the end. And those are the people that we really wanted to hear us talk. Uh, so I uh, just wanted to thank Emmanuel for giving this opportunity. And uh, I, mean, I hope you guys had a great time at home. Can Thanks. I go home to bed? Okay. Patty she got, rolls. She got all this equipment so cheap. Now Patty's going to put up some really kick-ass slides of what happened. <laughs> Thanks, Patty. Somehow she found time to put this together. Okay, we'll keep introducing all of us, and you can give us all the shout-outs you want. David, I need to David. do one more thing. Hey, it's backwards. Is Meme around? Meme's the girl that's been working registration. Meme! Shout-out for Meme. Get her up here. Okay, while she's coming up. You're all going to want to know a lot about what happened here, and we're going to tell you about it, and we'll answer a lot of questions about it in a few weeks and later. <laughs> um, where's me? She's up here. She's, She's hiding. 
This is me. <laughs> oh, cool. I've never seen this guy before, but I think I live with him. <laughs> it's Red Balaclava. <laughs> He's behind a blue screen. <laughs> All right. Um, wait a minute. You sat down. Get up. I just want everybody to see you, and then you can sit back down. Okay. Meme just ran registration. That's what I might have was supposed to do, and I did in 1994. She rules too. Everybody up here is the most fantastic bunch of people on the planet right now. What is going on? <laughs> Almost having convulsions. <laughs> Are you sure it's not TPM? <laughs> Does anybody think that's funny? Okay. Oh yeah. Thank Garth. Thank Garth. Okay. Kicking the thing For everybody who worked here as a volunteer, yes. you got a red shirt. You got an owned by Pam shirt. I have one last thing to clear up. In case you didn't know this, everybody sitting at this table is included in that group. Is that clear with everybody in this room? We have no network, no like corporate sponsorship or anything, nothing. We don't ever want to hear that question and we'll make it really clear a lot. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, thanks to Kmart for, for their cooperation earlier today. Yeah. Here's what I want. I want a shout out from this side of the table of everybody's name. Shout out your name and tell me what you did because I can't see you guys. Yeah, Ryan, uh, Ryan, I did uh, everything. Merchandising, uh, registration, and kept Pam, Pam cool. <laughs> Thank you. He also kept giving me back rubs too. <laughs> I'm Porkchop, I did real audio, I did stuff in the knock, and uh, I think that's it. Lights, Sound. Lights, 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 yes, those lights are mine. I'm Dave, I did some networking stuff, I did some stuff with the picture tell. Oh wait, the Garth Brooks picture? Yeah, that was, uh, that was designed by Corey, who was, was hanging way, out with us. On his way to England right now in an airplane. Good. He's a great kid. Uh, I'm Seraph. I did the website and all the other design stuff that you see around, all the banners and stickers and posters and t-shirts and hats and all that fun stuff. Seraph had his posters all over the fucking city. Isn't that cool? <laughs> Did you see them? No, not. Those are the stickers, not the posters. Okay, that's all right. The posters, um, well. And we don't know who stuck that there. It really doesn't matter. If you saw them, you saw them. But that's like the coolest. Thing. Right, it still looks better, doesn't it? Hey, so much brighter than them. Shout out to Patty. She's the only person who thought to do this. Make the slides. Do you like them? Okay. Go. Oh, Bernie, yes. I, uh, what did I do anyway? Uh, I got all the free stuff for all you folks for door prizes. Not all of it, but a lot of it. Which uh, we're going to give away found soon. this crazy video projector that we got all, all this in the big screen. And Patty uh, went and read. And acquired various network and power conditioning equipment for uh, smooth running network, which I have to really credit people for using properly, so thank you. Okay. Look at it's your turn. Yes, you did. All right. Uh, my name is Jeopardy Jim, and I can't tell you some of the things I did. 
Other than that, I generally made a nuisance of myself everywhere and ran around like a chicken without a head on. I tried to keep Pam sane and I almost succeeded. And uh, that's about it. Okay, we need to know if Ben is in the room. There he is, all the way in the back. He's hiding. Ben did a lot of stuff, right? Actually, if you bought something from 2600, you probably bought it from Ben. And he probably made you buy something else. <laughs> Thank you, Ben. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Ben. Thanks. You're, ben is the reason that we all are allowed to be up here right now. Kiratoy. This is Kiratoy. For the last like two or three or perhaps the whole day, hours, he's kept me sane. <laughs> My sister did it yesterday. She's not here today. <laughs> oh, Kiratoy made those really great posters of like the um, van crashing into the phone booths with Walter the dog on them. You people want them. They're not going to be for sale when you leave, though. All that's shut down. <laughs> you can order it through the magazine. He probably. also does the, uh, the, 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 the 2600 website, Off the Hook website. Um, the Hope website work. is done by Seraph. I actually did a shitload of stuff for the Off the Hook uh, CD <laughs> and uh, website. And the covers. And the covers. Wow. Wow. You guys know who he is? Right, you skipped you. Well, I already said, oh wait, I can't say what I did. You kept me sane for six months. Which six months were these? <laughs> and this conference would not have happened and certainly would not have been a success without Pam. And Thanks. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, the guy next to him is David. Can you even say your name anymore? <laughs> this is David at David.com. Whenever there was a problem, we put it on his shoulders. And he handled it. Um, when, the shit hit, when the shit hit the fan, um, my job was to be there. And <laughs> I schmoozed a hell of a lot of unnamed companies uh, to get us a lot of the services and technology that we needed. Um, the interesting thing is that they don't want to be mentioned. Cool, wait, I do think we should mention that one. Um, yeah? Well, what, the... ISDN provider? Oh, well, your, your local um, providers of, of ISDN service um, made the, um, this all possible, but I can't mention their name, but you've seen their um, telephone booths um, decorated with our original um, logos and bumper stickers. Okay, wait a minute. I need to give some shout outs to people who aren't here. But one thing I have to say is like, like, um, oh shit, I forgot. <laughs> okay, I'll give my shout outs. Probably I'll remember it. Oh, David is the best schmoozer on the planet. Yes. Okay, we need to thank Doug and Ray. They're our radio guys. The radios you see here are the radios you don't see. Shut up. <laughs> they did it. Those radios, those ones. Those ones. Okay. David, are you done? I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm, I'm fried. Okay. The guy sitting behind David should stand up and introduce himself. I'm NetWeasel and I don't sleep. Well, okay, he's NetWeasel, he has a really cool website, and uh, I keep calling him. Do you mind if I use your name? Huh? Do you mind if I use your name? 
We've been calling him all over the place, Jersey Ryan. If you've heard that name, that's who that is. He just kicks ass. He's done more fun shit for us, like while we've been running around and connecting us up. His boss got us like, he sent his staff to pick people up at airports for us and stuff. Uh, and I'd, I'd like to thank um, the cop in front of Grand Central Station for not noticing the sticker that I, I mean, that someone put up on the phone booth two feet in front of him. You oh. probably need to know this. He actually had, like, for at least four or five days, one of those great Beyond Hope stickers on the yellow divider when you enter the Lincoln Tunnel from when he was stuck in traffic there for hanging out with us too long. Everybody who left New York saw that. Does that roll? Yeah. I did too. Yeah, we also have to thank the nice people at Joe Boxer for announcing our event to everyone in the Times Square area. Oh. And over again. I have like two more things to say, then we'll continue the shout outs. We need to uh, say that we don't want to thank the people at the Cyber Cafe. We tried to make an organized event happen with them for over eight months. We're sorry if anything bad happened, though. We'll work it out. Okay, everybody do this. This is fun. This is stupid geek tricks. I want to see how fast everybody can turn around and look at the guy in the green shirt at the sound panel. That's Manos. Manos. <laughs> Somebody give him a mic, but like, Manos has been just a solid rock. Manos, go to the mic Chris has. Uh, no, actually, you guys did all the work. You've been working for months on this. And... What do you do for us, Manos? Um, I'm costing the websites. Yeah, and... well, we're going to say what else you do for us in a minute at our, our space. And I don't know, I help as much as I can. Thank you. Thank you. But Thank the credit you. goes on there. Okay. Well, you met me, Moretti. Oh, she also designed the great animated GIF. Yeah. Do you see it? It's of that logo that's on the payphone. It's really cool. Come to the website and get it. Do you mind if we snag it, meme? <laughs> Take it. Get it. Do it. Use it. You went there. You did it. Use it. Who's it? I can't see over there. Who's next? Marco. 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 You guys know who Marco is? <laughs> uh, just like to thank everyone who helped out. Marco has no mic. Hold on. Hello. It's okay. Talking. There we go. Uh, I'd just like to thank everybody who helped out. This is an entirely volunteer network. Uh, Marco's the network guy. Oh. Okay. Marco did our network. He's thanking his own volunteers, but Marco did our network. Oh. You got it? Not all by myself. Hey, Marco, why don't you say what kind of a connection we had? Speed. Uh, yeah, we had a 10 megabit multi-homed. Not bad. Does that mean anything to you people? Yeah. Okay. We're drinking from the fire hose. <laughs> it's really cool. We're not going to tell you who provided that, but you'll find out <laughs> soon. Ring the bell. Who's Marco? What else do you want to say? Uh, Speak into the mic. Okay. Like the guy think. next to him is Ryan. Yes. Hi. New York Ryan. New York Ryan. This is I'm, not New Jersey Ryan. I'm Ryan at Ryan.net. I, I had to be like David. Everybody does. I wanted to get Marco.com, but some tablecloth company took it. <laughs> that sucks. Um, Ryan, what'd you do? I did a lot of stuff. I herded a lot of cats earlier. Uh, I did the WBAI stuff. Uh, I help Marco with as much networking as I can. Uh, can you roll the slide back a couple to our British friends? Okay, you guys have to understand. Uh, I hosted, uh, my, uh, I loaned my desk to uh, a lot of our uh, new friends from Britain. Uh, that's me, that's Cyber Junkie. Are any of them still here? Uh, some of them are gone. Wait, you're one of them. Yeah, you're one of them. <laughs> Don't shake your head. <laughs> anyway, uh, 
Oh, we what? Wait, wait, wait. Come on. Come on. Come on. The British guys need to stand up. Stay standing. Come on up here. Zach, I have a personal thank you. Is this boring, anybody? Okay, we're going to give away oh. shit after this, maybe? Yeah. Anyway, uh, Thursday night, these guys got together, and uh, I don't know if... I guess most of the beer is actually cleared off the desk for this, this shot here. But uh, we got a little bored, so we uh, did a little creative web design in the Netherlands. I don't know if you guys heard <laughs> about that or not. Okay, that brings us to a question that a lot of you probably want to know. How the hell did this happen? This is like really an easy question. We were gonna do it anyway, but. <laughs> oh no, that's how it happens. People sleeping. Okay, but what I was talking about was the organizational stuff, and I'd like to let you know where it happened. It happened at Notwork Development Labs. If you've heard that name, raise your hand. Notwork. Oh my God, that's good. wow. They were the AP Newswire. All right. Um, if this conference probably had like a logo on the bottom, like Hips did, that said "Powered by Sun," I think this one should say "Powered by Not Work." I think that's just about all I need to say about it. Except I'd like the Not Work members in this room to stand up. Well, we don't really need to clap. We just wanted you to know who the hell we were. Are we recruiting? Yeah, it's been a really big secret. <laughs> okay, now what I want to say about it is, first of all, the really great British guys have been hanging out with us there all the time, and it's desks. been totally cool. Clean yeah. the back room. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Has anybody been there today? No. No. I have. I don't want to know what it looks like. The health department. And, and he made it back. Where did the couch okay. cushions go? What? Where are the couch cushions? <laughs> we'll, we'll deal with that later. Okay. Don't worry, the Twizzlers are still there. There's Twizzlers left? There's still Twizzlers left. They're, they're four years That's old. Fine. All right. Yeah, they are four years old. OK. That was our own little internal thing. Um, I think they want us to give away shit. We're going to give away shit? Um, now. We're done shouting each other out? I'd like to say something. Ben, sure. go ahead. Um, I don't know, I, I was outside for most of this, but um, okay. without Pam here, Pam is like, was the eyes, ears, nose, throat, and brain of this entire convention. She did a little bit of everything. I don't want to demean anybody else, but without Pam, a lot of the stuff that you saw wouldn't have happened, and I just want to give everybody, just want everybody to get a round of applause for Pam. Thank you. Ben, please come here. Come here. Come here. And can we get a big right round here. of applause for the big guy himself, Mr. Emmanuel Goldstein? Yeah. This is in lieu of a hug from Ben. You can hold my hand, thank you. Ben gives like the best hugs on the planet. He's the hugger. He did it at the first hope, he's still doing it, only he grew up a little, it's cool. He's okay. hugged over 10,000 people so far. Hey, I need to say something. Eric? Eric? Hmm? Eric? Oh, um, okay. <laughs> Emmanuel, thanks for letting me do this. <laughs> My pleasure. All right. That was kind of fun. Let's do it again to... sometime. We will do this again sometime, I'm sure. Uh, okay, let's give away shit. We have We're giving shit. away Zap from England first. <laughs> no, Zap's cool. Wait a minute, the only last thing you need to know about that is the British guys were all there when we had to unload the major hacking cookies. And we did, and a hell of a lot of other people in this room were too. Our elevator broke at not work. Oh boy. At no. 4.30 in the morning. And there was like six of 20 people awake. 
<laughs> and we made a fire brigade up the stairs six flights. That's all you need to know. Okay. Oh, there's Tom. <laughs> That's Tom. He's on his way back to England, too. Oh, yeah. He Wait. left this afternoon. He's one of the British guys. No. Okay. Wait, Pam? Wait, hold we on, need to on. know what time it is, David? Oh, hold on a second. Tom said that he was going to outlast us all, that he was going to stay up the Thursday before through the entire weekend and not get one wink of sleep. That picture was taken here in the staff room on Friday. <laughs> He's already been doing it though for like a week. Yeah. It's all right. If anybody here at this table has had less sleep than Tom, raise your hand. Less sleep than Tom. Oh no. I passed. What time is it now? Here. I need to know what time it is here. Oh, it's uh, three minutes to midnight. Okay. Um. We really need to shut this down. Right. Give away shit. <laughs> well, We're going to give away shit. Let's give away free shit, and okay. then we all have to go. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Is everybody at this table feeling happy about the shout outs we've given? I'm pretty delirious. Okay. Okay. That's right. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Oh, yeah. If the DHP people are in the room, stand up. How do we forget them? They're awesome. What, what, what? They lifted about as much stuff as we did. About. No, I know exactly who they are. They slept on my floor after the last one when their van was towed. The DHP guys rock. They covered our asses on this one. And the last one. And the last one. And the next one, too, right? Hey, oh, yeah, yeah. We got a question for DHP. I got one. Did you guys get treated okay here? All right. I'm really sorry. I'm really, really sorry <laughs> that I didn't thank you. Let's hear it for Major Hacking. Okay, we just handled... <laughs> Arrest that dog. Mr. and Mrs. Hacking were those really elderly people that were here yesterday. If you didn't see them on the radio show, they were walking around. Major Hacking, that's his real name. We didn't tell the story? Did we tell the story? Well, his last name is Hacking and he was a major. That's it. Yeah, that's all you need to know. But... We're going to tell the whole story on the website. Look for more major hacking info at www.2600.com. It's cool. Is that OK? All right. We'll make sure you get the info on major hacking. Major hacking is totally cool. If you were 84, would you come to a hacker conference? If you got lost and, or went to the wrong convention center on the way, would you still come? <laughs> Ma <laughs> what? What? Oh, cool. <laughs> don't, don't, don't say AOL in here, please. <laughs> Major Hacking got home safely, by the way, if anybody else cared. Cool. <laughs> all right. We should thank our Dutch friends, even though we didn't see much of them. Uh, we, we, were, we were supposed to have all kinds of connectivity, but it didn't quite work out. With that, um, we saw them a few times, they saw us, but we don't know what happened to them. Hey, Eric. We have red light. The red hey, light Eric. worked. The red light was cool. The red light was cool. Is the red oh, light yeah. guy here? There he is. There hey. he is. Stand up again. That guy came all the way from Holland to make a light here work. Wait a minute. Do you guys know what he did? Okay. He came all the way from over there to make a switch here turn a light on there, and a switch there, turn a light on here. It's his art project. I'm sure you'll be able to find out information about it. All right, through the, the way, net. You left the light on. <laughs> yeah, why didn't those people at HIP shut it off? We're gonna have to do everything for them? <laughs> Rob rules. Yes. Rob's cool. Did, do these people know what happened during your opening of HIP? Uh, well, okay, uh, actually, well, Cyber's not here right now, but uh, some, some people who were here kind of hacked their web, one of their web pages anyway, 
and uh, we announced that to them live over the picture tell. So While Eric was giving the hip opening panel, was it was kinda, totally cool. Kind of shocked. <laughs> Can we say who did it? Uh, well, actually, a few people did it, okay. but one person didn't. Yeah, do it. a whole bunch of people hanging out at Not Work while we were like really crazed did it. it was great. Cool. <laughs> okay, I think it's just about time to give away shit. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. What? Um, we we want to stay up here. Anybody at this table right now that wants to leave the table can. Pork Chop has the stuff. We have the stuff. Okay. If you all want to stay, sure, it's fine not? with me. This is the first time everybody up here had fun at this conference. <laughs> is that true? No. No, no. Oh, well, it's the awesome. first time I've had any fun, <laughs> so I'm cool. We're going to give away stuff. Well, we've actually had a really lot of fun, but I haven't ever heard anything that happened in this room until now. <laughs> okay, I apologize. That was totally me. This has been the best thing I've ever done. The best time I ever had. Pork chop. Can we pass that stuff down here? Here's what I need to do. Somebody sitting right there with a watch. I know I have one on, but I don't use watches. Needs to tell me when it's 12.30. Okay. That's your job. Better be. it's your job. That kid that just answered dissed me and didn't wear an Owned by Pam shirt. Would you tell me the time in a half an hour if you're here? If you're Thank not you. here, just leave your watch. <laughs> Somebody else do it for him if he has to go. Thank you. All right. Do we have any idea how we're doing this? Um, yeah, actually. There's a really cool thing that happened when I made these attendance badges. There's all sorts of ways we planned and had fun with so that you couldn't go photocopy them and think you had a real one. We really didn't check to see if you did it, but... Um, does anybody think they did it? They, to what? Cool. No problem. We did some cool stuff to make sure it wouldn't be hacked, though. All right. Um, did I, does anybody in this room think they know what the numbering sequence is on the badges? OK. All day, that's all I wanted to do was make that a contest. All right. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is give away a prize if anybody gets that right. I'm going to take it. Who? Anybody who knows can't answer. No security people can answer. You work security. Steve, that was really lame. <laughs> nice try. Okay. Does anybody who doesn't already know think they know what's on the numbers? Okay. I don't know yet. That's my answer. Okay. We had a lot of fun at Not Work asking a lot of people, including British people and people that were visiting us, people from other states. They all spent hours trying to figure it out and they didn't do it. We'll have a contest for that afterwards then. We need to make this go quickly. Um, pork chop, hold up something. All right, this was donated by Bernie S. It is, uh, well, maybe you can explain it. Uh, three, yeah. three years ago at uh, Hope94, uh, I demonstrated two, uh, two clipper chip encryption systems. Uh, we found out they weren't the greatest thing since sliced bread because the NSA had a back door to the, uh, to the encryption scheme. But, uh, to the algorithm. But uh, I laid out over $2,000 for those two things to test them out. And uh, um, sometime after that, the Secret Service raided my house and uh, took a whole bunch of shit from me. And they took one of the two clipper chip encryption units. I don't know why they didn't take them both, but uh, they left me with one. And uh, while the box is a little mildewy because they put it in storage where it was uh, not 
best for electronic equipment. Um, I did get it back, and uh, inside it's pristine. It's still wrapped in plastic. It's an $1,100 uh, speech encryption unit that you can use to speak to anybody else it's who really has a cool. clipper chip unit. And it uh, works on it's all really phones, cool. and it's really cool, and we're going to give this away. Okay. The, this is going to yeah. be the prize for anybody who um, has this badge number, so everybody should look at their badges. Know your number, because that's the way that we're going to do this, and we just decided now. Okay, the middle four digits. There are two digits that start it, then there are four in the middle, then there are two digits that end it. This is a clue. It's a pretty big clue. It's a really big clue. I'm not taking volunteers for my contest. You can answer it soon. I'm going to read out a number, okay? If the middle four digits of your badge are 2,600, you can have that, as long as you live within the United States. <laughs> this is not exportable. It is a munition. Okay. We tried to give it to the guy who hacked Root. He was from Canada, though. He was from Canada and needed to take it on a bus. Oh, well. He wanted other stuff anyway. Well, actually, he didn't want anything. He hacked Root, though. Okay. Does anybody in the room have a badge with that number on it? No? All right. How about just a 26? What? How about just a 26? No, can't do that. <laughs> um, okay. What? Just hold it. Oh, we're actually sending him some NSA stuff and some other really cool things and uh, hooking him up. But we couldn't give him this. So, what I need you guys, everybody at the table, wait, everybody here at the table, everybody at my Hope Core table needs to re yell out a number starting from here because I can't even think of numbers. Anatole, pick a number. Yell out that number you just said. 2626. Two, six. Does anybody have that number? Does everybody know their number right now? Because we need to do this fast. We're all really crashed and burnt. OK. Yell out a number. 1633. OK. This just isn't going to work. I guess my numbering Probably sequence 10, is too good. Well, the odds are 1 in 10,000 that they would have the number. That's all. No, yeah. you can't do that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Plenty of people have 26s on their badges. Does anybody have three zeros in a row? Okay. For the people at the table, your number is a four-digit number. <laughs> four digits. 2734. I have four digits. Okay. <laughs> Unless someone at this table yells out a four-digit number right now that someone has, Steve's going to get this thing. Steve's the guy that just yelled he had four digits. He just hacked me. 2734. You got it. Steve, come up here and get it. Use it, use it in good health. Oh, he wants me to autograph it. If, if anybody at this table has a better suggestion for how to do this, do it now. <laughs> we don't know those numbers. Okay, where's Wicked? Is he still up here at the table? Um, what, there was a, another machine here that had root hacked on it. Wicked wasn't there. Get a mic. Are those people here? Uh, he left. They left. Okay. Um, you guys, I can't think about how we're going to do this. Somebody else pick a number or a way to give away this stuff now. Yell them out, it's our thing. We, 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 we go up and down the row getting... No, shut up. We go up and down the row of people here. We read two digits off of the middle four numbers. That's row and C. We go up and across. We could just throw stuff at you. You know what? Would you like that? That's... No, okay. no, they're going to go flying out. I can't throw some of the stuff. I'm about to the point where I'd like to, but some of it's like Linux CDs, and they're in boxes, and they'll kill you. <laughs> That's not a good suggestion. 
my middle. Jim, I don't know the numbers, sure. numbers of the rows. We go up and count. We you don't need to even. count. Right. Stop. Do I do it? Do I do it? No. If anyone can break dance right here, that would be pretty cool too. Eric? What? It has to be the middle four digits. What I need is what? You got a break dancer! You got a break dancer! He wins. He wins. Throw you something. Get something for that. What happened? Oh, I can't even see your feet. Give him that T-shirt and a Beyond Hope sticker. See, if you do something like that, you just like, get a prize right away. No, no, so. a T-shirt and one of those Beyond Hope stickers that everybody wants, the stickers. Open them up. <laughs> Did we? Oh, wait, he's, he designed the shirt he's wearing. Okay. Good, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Okay. Right. Hold on. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Don't do it. Don't do it. Who? No. He works security. Sorry. Security guys need to know. Hey, Pam, how what? about... No. Some... No, 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 no. We're not worrying about if you know how our badge numbers works now. We got it. We got it. It's got covered. It. Okay. Okay. Everybody look at their badge number. We're going to do this again. Ignore the first two numbers. If your next digit is a one, there should be a lot of you. Okay. If your next digit is a two. Raise your hand. What we're going to do is by elimination. When there's one of you, we'll stop. If your next digit is a three. One, two, three. What? One, two, three. No, it has to be. All those positions have to be met, right? Okay, one, your number is one, two, three. That's it? You have all those three numbers in sequence? Stand up. We have a winner. Come up here. Okay. Hey, Hope Corps people. We just figured out a way to do this. It's really easy. We will be checking. Hope Corps, people, look at your badges now if you're on the table. Okay, winner. Your badge number is one, two digits away from mine. <laughs> wow. Give him something. Do you, do you, you decide. Do you, your Linux. Do, that's what I needed to know. Are you into Linux? You're next. Are you you get Linux some. Wait a minute. We have three winners. No? Okay. 15 minutes. Um, the people the giving away stuff. stuff should go over there and give away stuff. <laughs> Take the prizes. Uh, wait a minute. Here, if I'm. Give him a box on that. This is a. Book by Rika? Yeah. Oh, wow. You know, we said we'd make this up as it went along. If you really want stuff, stay. If you guys need to leave, go. <laughs> um, okay. Everybody who had one, two, three in the four digits of their badge number, their badge numbers are really close to mine. They just won something. Hey, Eric. You should win something too, right? What? Okay. Oh, you must have one, two, three in your badge. I don't want anything. <laughs> I want this to be over. What's the number? Eric, yes. what I was asking for was for everybody at this table to look at their badge. I don't have a badge. <laughs> oh, shit. I made you pay for uh, one. I know. I don't have a badge. Oh, shit. Yeah. David, do you have one? No, I don't have a badge either. Okay, everyone on this Can table. Can anyone rap? Okay, cool. I mean, we got mics. Ready? One, one. Everyone who's got that number in that four-digit sequence, one, one. Stand up. If the next number is a six... Stay standing. How many people are standing? One, two. You come up here now. <laughs> Get some free stuff. Do you have a badge? Are you into Linux at all? Oh, I Here's a great thing. Wait. This is an antique memory board. It's over 30 years old. You guys keep getting in here with us. We need to talk. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. If your badge starts with the number. Core memory. Very good. Okay. Is that all the stuff we need to explain when we give it away? You can take a picture. Okay. If your middle four digits starts with six, seven, Japanese book on hacking? Eight. How many people are standing? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> 
Let me see that. What's your next digit, Rebel? Whoa, that's really it by cool, one. right? He, Rebel's badge number is one away from memes who ran registration. You get something free. Somebody give him something. Don't give him a microphone. <laughs> Rebel, here's your badge. You, Rebel, Rebel, you don't want to lose this, I don't think. Now leave the table. Captain Crunch. Captain Crunch. Captain Crunch and, and Rebel. Wait, what's your number? Hey, Crunch. From what I heard, too, Captain Crunch is quite the raver. Doctor, Doctor Linux. All right. What's your badge number? Six seven eight. Cool. Okay. Uh, what about that kid standing? Does he have one? Six seven eight. Do you have a badge? No, no. Does he have? No. Okay. No. Does anybody in the room still has a six seven eight badge? Okay. Does this your is badge your number start? And fifth Two. Numbers on your badge. I'm sorry. The middle four digits. It's the middle four digits. Okay, we're gonna do stupid geek tricks. Are we taping this? Okay. That's a mistake. Why? No, I want it taped. <laughs> okay. Everybody look at their badge in the room. Stick your thumb over the left two digits. Okay. Take your other thumb. If you want to win something, do this. And stick it over the right two digits. That's your number. Oh, cool. You got it? Okay, if your number is, starts with a two, starts, then next comes seven, then next comes three. <laughs> hey, Are you the only person now? Come here. Your badge number is what when you get here? This is a good system. Who thought of this? Not work development labs and me. <laughs> right. What's your badge number? No, I designed the numbering system. 2732. Two. All right, you're two digits away. You get free stuff. Cool. Hey there, uh, Pam. Thank you got you. 10 right. minutes. Hey, what's your badge number? That mine has been used yet. 3413. What? About a, uh, a book by Rika, Japanese journalist, about hacking in Japan. I don't know how to. I don't know what that means, Ryan. <laughs> okay, if your badge number, what? We need a 10 minute break. We have 10 minutes Excellent. left. Excellent. If, if your badge number starts with three, zero, zero. Come on up. <laughs> Anybody? Come up here. Next badge from the table. If your badge number starts with five, one, Power tools. six. Anybody still standing? Come up here. All right. By the way, that's the error code of 2600 Magazine. That's really cool. Give him something really cool. No, it's not very good. Idea. No, no, wait, you can win too. Did you win something here already? No, it's 516. 516. The four digits go 516. You should be looking at four digits. It should go 516. Thank you. Does anybody not know that? We're stopping this in 10 minutes. Somebody else hand me a badge. Somebody at my table now hand me a badge. Do we have any of the badges? Richie, badges? what's Richie. your badge number? Badges? <laughs> what? Okay, whose badge starts 266? I schmooze the door prize. He gets a door prize. Ed, do you have a badge on? I do. 34, What's 13. your? Did we give away anything on yours yet? No, I don't think so. <laughs> Who has a number that goes three, four, one? Anybody? Anybody? Nobody's got a badge near Bernie S. How do Bueller. we do that? Bueller. I'm unique. <laughs> you yell out your badge number. Could be bad luck. I'm sorry. You guy right here, yell out your badge number. That's that four digits I'm looking for. In the middle. Okay, if your badge number goes one, two, two. Oh, he's going to win. Not <laughs> he's not going to win okay. this. Oh, actually, you can have free stuff for yelling out the badge number. You can two. One, two, two. Anybody else in the room have a badge like that? Then you come up here. 
Richie, you too. Right. What I need is a badge number from my staff at this table. Do you guys have any more? 451. <laughs> Thank you. That was, I've been saying that several times. We got one more left. We'll, we'll all get one more what? Well, two more door prizes. Okay. Thank you guys. Wow, that really works, doesn't it? <laughs> the next number is three, two. Anybody standing? Is this you? The next digit is three. Then it's yours. Come here. This guy kicks ass. <laughs> yeah. This guy bounced my door for the last several hours. That's my cell phone. <laughs> This guy just gets whatever he wants. What's He's left? Got your keys too. Thank you. Give him everything that's left. That too. We're done. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. We'd like to thank you all. All the free stuff is gone. Take your badges back, Hope Corps staff. Two more prizes, really. Okay. Give them to somebody who deserves them. I want this. Okay.